Partnership liquidation. Partnership liquidation terminology. Liquidation is the process of closing a partnership. Realization is the selling of the assets of a partnership. Gain on realization is the selling the assets of a partnership for more than the book value. Loss on realization, selling the assets of a partnership for less than the book value. The loss on realization with a capital deficiency is when a partner's capital account has a debit balance after realization. What we have here is Amy Garcia and Ashlyn Garcia, 50-50 partners. We're going to do a partnership liquidation. They have cash assets of $25,000, non-cash assets of $15,000, liabilities of $10,000, and each Amy Garcia and Ashlyn Garcia have $15,000 in their capital account. They have sold the non-cash assets for $20,000. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take $15,000 out of the non-cash assets. We're going to add $20,000 to the cash account. We're going to take this $15,000 minus the $20,000. That gives us a $5,000 gain on the sale of assets. And we're going to split that $5,000 gain 50-50 between Amy and Ashland. So Amy's going to get $2,500, and Ashland is going to get $2,500. This is the $5,000 gain on the sale of assets. So the balances after realization leave us with $45,000 in cash, zero non-cash non assets, $10,000 in liabilities, and Amy Garcia has $17,000. 500 as her capital account, and Ashlyn Garcia has 17,500 in her capital account. The next step we have to do is pay the liabilities. The liabilities are $10,000, so we're going to take 10,000 from the liabilities, and we're going to take $10,000 from cash. And that right there represents the payment of the $10,000 liability. The balances after the payment of liability leave us with $35,000 in cash, zero non-cash assets, zero liabilities, and the capital accounts have not changed as of yet. The next step is to distribute the remaining cash over to the partners. And what we're going to do is take this $35,000 and we're going to split it 50-50 with Amy and Ashlyn. So we're going to take $35,000 from here. And we're going to pay Amy her $17,500. And we're going to pay Ashlyn her $17,500. And that leaves us with zero cash, zero non-cash assets. Zero in liabilities. Amy Garcia has been paid out her capital balance of $17,500. Her capital balance after the cash distribution is zero. And Ashlyn Garcia has been paid out her $17,500 for her capital. And after the cash distribution, her capital balance is zero. And this is how we would record the liquidation of a partner with a gain on the sale of assets. Okay, so we have Amy Garcia and Ashlyn Garcia, 50-50 partners. Cash assets of $25,000. Non-cash assets of $15,000. Liabilities of $10,000. And Amy and Ashlyn each have $15,000 in their capital accounts. They have sold their non-cash assets for $10,000, which is going to leave them with a fifteen or a $5,000 loss. So we're going to take $15,000 from the non-cash assets, and we're going to add $10,000 to the cash. 
and we've taken a $5,000 loss on the sale of our assets. So we're going to split that $5,000 loss between Amy and Ashland 50-50. And we're going to take away $2,500 from Amy Garcia's capital. And we're going to take away $2,500 from Ashland Garcia's capital. The balance is after realization. We've got $35,000 in cash. We've got zero non-cash assets. We have $10,000 in liabilities. Amy Garcia now has $12,500 in her capital account. And Ashlyn Garcia has $12,500 in her capital account. The next thing we need to do is pay the liabilities. The liabilities are $10,000. So we will take away the $10,000. Take out 10,000 cash to show the payment of the liabilities. And we're going to bring down our balances. $25,000 is left in cash after paying the liabilities. We sold our non-cash assets. We've now paid our liabilities. And the capital accounts have not changed as of yet. Now we must distribute the $25,000 evenly must be two partners here, 50-50. So we're going to take $25,000 out of cash. And we're going to split the $25,000 50-50 with Amy Garcia and Ashlyn Garcia. So Amy's going to get paid $12,500 out of her capital. And Ashlyn is going to get paid her $12,500 from her capital. This leaves us with zero cash, zero non-cash assets, zero liabilities, and each capital account has zero. And this is how you would record the liquidation of a partnership taking a loss on the sale of non-cash assets.